Although soft robots hold a lot of potential for new applications in robotics, their large adoption in industrial and commercial applications is prevented because they're easily damaged, making them ecologically unsustainable and also economically non-competitive. These clear limitations have pushed us in developing self-healing polymers designed for soft robotics. These are flexible and stretchable elastomers in which we incorporated a special chemical bond, a deals alder bond. Upon cutting the polymer, these covalent bonds are broken, creating reactive groups. When bringing the parts back together, these react, reforming the deals alder bonds and thereby healing and restoring completely the material properties. We use these polymers to make a variety of soft robots, like this soft pneumatic gripper, which can recover completely from small damages like punctures, as well as from much larger damages, like cutting one of its fingers completely in half. And this robot heals fast, much faster than we do, because within minutes small damages are healed, while it also recovers from large damages within a single day. In addition, its healing capacity is also restored, and therefore damages on exactly the same location can be healed for a large number of times. The self-healing can be accelerated by heating up the polymer. And that is why we embedded a heat cartridge in a soft gripper based on granular jamming. This allowed to heat up to 90 degrees, resulting in full recovery within 4 hours. Alternatively, a self-healing stretchable heater was embedded in a bending actuator. This heater is made from a newly developed self-healing composite, which is electrically conductive. By applying current, Julie heating leads to a local temperature increase at the location of damage, thereby providing the means to recover the full performance of both the actuator and the heater, and this within a single hour. Similar self-healing composites were used to create stretchable piezo-resistive sensors, which can be used in self-healing soft robots to track deformation, to detect damage, and also to evaluate the recovery after self-healing. They recover their sensing performance after being for one hour at 90 degrees. But creating analytical and numerical models for these sensors is challenging due to their non-linear and time-dependent behavior, which results from the viscoelastic nature of the self-healing composite. Nevertheless, we have illustrated that machine learning can provide an answer, allowing to create neural network models for even more complex sensors, enabling touch and damage localization as well as self-healing. By tuning the polymer composition, very flexible, but also very stiff self-healing polymers can be made. And as they rely on the same chemistry, they can be covalently bind together, forming high-strength interfaces. This was leveraged to create robust multi-material soft robots, but also multi-material suction cups with improved performance, combining stability with adaptability. And even reconfigurable soft robots, which follow a voxel-based design. As such, we are at the Vrije Universiteit Brussel at the forefront of developing new sustainable materials and technologies for soft robotics and potentially for many applications beyond.